Welcome to this new series, why we think what we think, on my channel Personal Power. In this series we will be talking about critical and logical thinking, different thought patterns, fallacies and why we think the way we think. My intention is to give you some deeper understanding on the thought process and to raise your awareness for common mistakes that we unconsciously do. This series is not directly aimed to give you immediate benefits in your business or in making you more productive. Neither is it going to help you seducing a woman or a man, but don't turn it off just yet. In the long run you will be able to make constantly better decisions. In addition you will experience a feeling of joy once you learn about this stuff and manage to implement some of the things in your life. We will talk about common cognitive biases and every now and then I will answer your questions in a separate video. The goal of this series is to improve the quality of your thinking and your decision making. We will include different examples that seem obvious at first glance, but real answers only appear through proper thinking. We will talk about little tricks that your mind plays on you. I'm really hyped for this series because it's a topic that I'm really interested in and I think I'm also going to learn a lot while doing research and so on. But without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I want to introduce two theories, two metaphors, however you want to name them. I will come back to these in future videos. This is the basis for every one of the future videos. The first one originates from the book Thinking Fast and Slow, where the author describes two different systems. The first system is responsible for our quick decisions. They're decisions that don't really need a lot of effort. For example, would you rather have one ounce of gold or would you rather have 10 ounces of gold? The answer comes to us instantly. We are used to picking the option that offers us the most value without questioning it because we're living in a capitalistic society and when there are no consequences why not take the 10 ounces. This is our automatic system, our intuition. And it's good this way. Our intuition or our automatic system is protecting us from danger. If we face a life-threatening situation our automatic mind quickly comes to the best conclusion whether it being running away, fighting or even arguing in certain scenarios. The automatic system protected us for thousands of years. It helped us survive. But in the times we live in it became a bit obsolete. We don't face danger that often anymore. Facing death is extremely rare for most of us and we have decisions that need serious thinking to come to the best conclusion. Still, most of our decisions happen through the first system and exactly this can hurt us. Sometimes it is better to take the long road instead of following your gut feeling, which brings us to the second system. The second system is responsible for dealing with complex questions and finding an outcome that benefits us the most. The second system uses logical thinking and reasoning. For example, in which stocks we invest should be decided by evaluating data and coming to a conclusion and not because we got manipulated by some advertisements. Should we buy a house or should we rent one? Should we marry or should we keep things separated? All these things have multiple factors that need to be calculated into our decision and therefore the second system takes over. The main problem that we have is that system 2 takes up more time and energy as a result, we run on autopilot most of the time and system 1, our intuition, takes charge. This concept is in a similar form also found in the book The Righteous Mind from Jonathan Haidt. Jonathan Haidt describes the system as an elephant and a rider. The elephant is our intuition, system 1 and the rider is system 2, logical thinking and reasoning. This metaphor is phenomenal for all the best reasons. Basically. He is saying that the intuition is this gigantic, powerful, strong animal that could decide where the journey is going, but it is controlled to a certain extent by the physically weaker, smaller, yet smarter rider. Good reasoning and critical thinking equals a very skilled rider, whereas poor reasoning represents a novice rider or an unskilled one. If the rider is talented and mastered his craft, he can control the elephant way better vice versa for an unskilled one. But even if we are great at reasoning, there's still the chance that the elephant takes over. We can keep him under control, but he is still the stronger of the two. 
even when he doesn't know what he's capable of. Understanding this duality is the first step to developing a better way of thinking and to control your intuition. Learning to reason will help you to keep that elephant under control and to make better decisions in your everyday life. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new series and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel right now. I'll see you in the next video.